Researchers have discovered a strange, spinning object in the Milky Way they say is unlike anything astronomers have ever seen. There have been numerous times when scientists got glimpses of these weird objects, and one such object is the famous Aumuamua, the bizarre interstellar object that paid a brief visit to our solar system in September 2017. However, this time another alien object has followed its trail, which is very much similar to it. Scientists and researchers have been working to find the origin of these creepy objects for a long time, and now they believe that they are coming from an alien solar system. So let's talk about it. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about a terrifying new alien object discovered in space. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The origin and identity of a massive space object that careened past Earth in 2017 have remained a mystery. The object called, which is a Hawaiian name meaning scout or messenger, has traveled on a trajectory that strongly suggested it came from another star system and made it the first interstellar object ever detected. A few researchers, including Harvard University astronomer Avi Loeb, posited the object was an alien spacecraft. However, others suggested it was an asteroid, or perhaps an interstellar comet. Now, a pair of papers published in an American Geophysical Union journal offers another theory, that Aumuamua was shrapnel from a tiny planet in a different solar system. According to Stephen Desch, an astrophysicist at Arizona State University and a co-author of the new study who said in a press release, we've probably resolved the mystery of what Aumuamua is, and we can reasonably identify it as a chunk of an exopluto, a Pluto-like planet in another solar system. But by the time astronomers became aware of Aumuamua's existence in 2017, it was already zipping away from Earth at 196,000 miles per hour. So, they had only a few weeks to study the strange skyscraper-sized object. Several telescopes on the ground and one in space took limited observations as the object flew away, but astronomers were unable to examine it in full. However, scientists have revealed that Aumuamua's spin, speed, and trajectory couldn't be explained by gravity alone, which suggested it was not an asteroid either. And talking about the object shape and profile, it's about one quarter of a mile long, but only 114 feet wide, which clearly doesn't match that of any comet or asteroid observed before. In addition, according to the authors of the new study, however, Aumuamua's frozen nitrogen composition could explain that shape. As the outer layers of nitrogen ice evaporated, the shape of the body would have become progressively more flat, just like a bar of soap does as the outer layers get rubbed off through use, said Alan Jackson, another study co-author. Furthermore, unlike most space rocks, Aumuamua seemed to be accelerating rather than slowing down in telescope observations. That is in part why Loeb thinks Aumuamua was an alien spacecraft. Now let's talk about the twin of Aumuamua, which passed by the Earth recently. Interestingly, amateur researchers have said that there are several of these mysterious objects flying around our solar system, and that one was recently found by someone who was using Google Sky. The individual who found it said this stood out to them because it looked very similar to Aumuamua, saying that they were able to take a screenshot and carry out further tests. In addition, they revealed that the object in question measures over 1,400 meters or 4,590 feet in length. Those who saw the image said that it looked very similar to Aumuamua, suggesting that the two may be the same thing. Although scientists have said that these objects are like asteroids, others are not so sure and have put forward more theories. One of the reasons they did this was because it didn't act like a typical space object, with researchers like Avil Loeb saying that this could indicate that it's something entirely different. The first theory that was performed was that it was an asteroid. The scientists looked at the size of the object, which was 2,600 feet or 800 meters long, 
and around 260 feet or 80 meters wide. However, it was reported that astronomers stated the object was not moving strangely. So, they put up the fact that Aumuamua showed a really strong non-gravitational acceleration. And this tells the researchers that its motion indicated that gravity was not the only thing dictating its path. After that, many other researchers also put forward their theories, one of which is that this object is extraterrestrial in nature, the fact that it moves like nothing else researchers have seen before, which indicates that it's under intelligent control. On the other hand, most scientists suggested that Aumuamua was something natural and that its acceleration was due to a natural phenomenon. Apart from these, the next data was that this mysterious object was releasing a large amount of hydrogen, and this was causing it to speed up. Interestingly though, not everyone has agreed with this theory. Therefore, going back, a new paper was published in the astrophysical journal Letters, and Theom Hong and astrophysicists at the Career Astronomy and Space Science has stated that they don't think the hydrogen idea holds up and that it wouldn't work in space. Furthermore, there are many strange properties about this object which the researchers cannot explain. For example, the way it mimics a comet, but yet it didn't have a title. Also, NASA themselves reported that the interstellar visitor is 10 times as long and that this aspect ratio is far greater than any asteroid or comet. Using observations from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based observatories, an international team of scientists have confirmed Aumuamua, the first known interstellar object to travel through our solar system, got an unexpected boost in speed and shift in trajectory as it passed through the inner solar system last year. Our high-precision measurements of Aumuamua's position revealed that there was something affecting its motion other than the gravitational forces of the Sun and planets, said Marco Michele of ESA's European Space Agency Space Situational Awareness Near-Earth Object Coordination Center in Frascati, Italy, and lead author of a paper describing the team's findings. Analyzing the trajectory of the interstellar visitor, co-author David Farnochia of the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory found that the speed boost was consistent with the behavior of a comet. As he said, this additional subtle force on Aumuamua likely is caused by jets of gaseous material expelled from its surface. This same kind of outgassing affects the motion of many comets in our solar system. Comets normally eject large amounts of dust and gas when warmed by the sun, but according to team scientist Oliver Heinout of the European Southern Observatory, there were no visible signs of outgassing from Aumuamua, so these forces were not expected. The team estimates that Aumuamua's outgassing may have produced a very small amount of dust particles, enough to give the object a little kick in speed, but not enough to be detected. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.